I'm Chris Pajak from the Red Men TV and Sam from United People's TV has asked me for some reason to rate Manchester United players. So I'm going to start with your goalkeeper, the goalkeeper that's rumoured to start against Liverpool in the 5.30 kickoff on Saturday and that is Romero, believe it or not. I'm going to give him a 6 because I don't think he's complete dog shit. But I don't think he's a good goalkeeper either. I think he's just middle of the road. To be fair, he's not good enough for you, and that's what that's about. Like, so six for him. Your right back, Damien. Uh, you know, from what I've seen of him, he looks a great player. Um, he's attacking really well. He doesn't. He's not afraid of coming back and doing his defensive duties as well. He's giving you an option on that right hand side. I'm gonna have to give him an eight, unfortunately. Going on to your centre backs, you got Chris Smalling right in the centre. He's had a good season for you so far. I understand that. He's getting a six because I've seen him over a, over a few years now. And to be fair, again, he's not good enough. He's not a good enough Manchester United centre back. And that's what that's down to. You know, you might think he's playing well and all this, but he is not a world class centre back. And I don't think he's ever going to become a world class centre back either. Um, you're the centre back for some reason. Davy Blind. What's that about? Um, five. You know why? If he was playing in midfield, I'd probably give him a seven. But I've seen him play in defence. He's your weak point. He's the weakest point in your team. He'll probably have a worldie against us now. But there we go. He's getting a five anyway. Luke Shaw, uh, player that I really rate, have done again. I think the fullbacks are definitely the two strongest pieces in your defence. So we're going for seven for Luke Shaw. Uh, two midfielders now. You've obviously just signed Schneiderlin from Southampton in the summer. He's going to get... I'm going to give him an 8, believe it or not, because I actually really like Schneider. I think he's really offered you something this season. He's offered a lot more protection in front of your back four, which was much needed, by the way. Um, and then his partner, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Where would you go with him? Because World Cup winner, he's, do he's won everything for Bayern Munich. He was clearly a 9 or a 10, but is he now? That's the question. So I'm not sure yet, you know, he's not quite been match fit. So on the form from this season, I'm just going to give him a 7. Play that I really do love though. I mean, he is a top-notch player. And if he gets back to fitness, as, as I said, he's up there with a 9. Um, three midfielders you've been playing in front of those sort of two holding midfielders. You've been playing one match on the right-hand side. Um, I really like him. It pains me to say it. Ah. Eight. I can't quite give him a nine. It's going to be an eight. I really he probably deserves a nine, to be honest. But I can't do it. It's an eight. Um, Herrera played your last game. A player that, I, again, I think he was your player of the season last year. And, you know, Herrera, if he's playing a proper midfielder's role, I think he's an eight or a nine. But playing where he did against Swansea, I think he's probably a seven. I don't think that's his true position. I think he'd be better suited a little bit further back. Um, and then on the left hand side, Memphis, player that we were linked with in the summer, someone that's, you know, injected a lot of pace. He's one of those players that picks the ball up, runs at defenders and scares them. And for that, he's going to get an eight because at some point he's going to explode this season. I can see it now. There's been, there's been flashes of it. And he's going to, he, he is probably, for me, one of your best signings of the summer. And then up top, the man who scored 50 goals for England. Six. I'm sorry, he's just turgid. He's awful. He's not a striker. He never has been a striker. He might have scored 50 goals for England. He might have come against shit teams. He might have come in the World Cup. Actually, only one of them came in the World Cup finals. But look, you know what? Again, it goes back to it. Wayne Rooney, he's paid too much money. You're not getting value for money. Therefore, he's a six. I'm going to go try and go through a few of your substitutes now. The Haya, nine. He should be in your side. Rojo, six. Because, meh. Um, McNair. Another five. You've got clear weaknesses at defence. Valencia, when he plays Liverpool, he gets a nine. For every other game of the season, he gets a five at right back. Uh, Young, six, because... I don't know, birds like pooing in his mouth? I don't know, is that even a thing? It can be a thing. You'll let me be. It. Let me know in the comments if it's not a thing, yeah? Let me know in the comments. Marshall, massively overpaid for in this summer. He's not done anything so far. Again, he'll probably score against Liverpool, but for now, he's just a six. You know, if I've not seen him, I can't give him a proper rating. I'm sorry about that. I tell you what, all the Man United fans out there who've watched more than a YouTube highlight of him, tell me his proper rating. Oh, none of you. Okay, sound. Uh, and Fellaini, Marlon Fellaini. <sighs> Plan B. Um, six. Because, you know, he's actually a former Everton player as well, so we really don't like him. Anyway, uh, as I said, I'm Chris Page from the Red Men TV. Don't forget to check 
out Sam's Liverpool player ratings on our channel, the TheRedBenTV.com, as well as YouTube. Um, and just give me a stick in the comments because I'm not going to read it, I don't care. <laughs> Do the manager.